My name is Will Marshall. I just retired from the military after 20 years, and I'm a PA student at the University of Washington. And uh, ketamine changed my life because he helped me to be more grounded and centered and and uh, calmer throughout my day to day. I've been in the military for for 20 years, so I had a lot of uh, post traumatic stress disorder and uh, TBIs. TBIs, and specifically, was the reason why I, uh, I was interested in doing the ketamine therapy because you know there's some some emerging research that it's neuroprotective and helps out with uh, TBI. Also some anger management problems I was going through at that time. So that's why I went through the ketamine um, um, treatments to, to kind of address those issues. Before the ketamine treatment, I wasn't as focused and a little bit more angry. I was anxious like anybody would be. How is this going to be? Is it going to hurt, obviously? Am I going to have like some kind of crazy reaction to it and freak out? Luckily, before that, I had also recently started doing meditation and journal writing, which I believe that helped out a lot because I was able to like set an intention for every single um, ketamine treatment. Well, while I was getting the treatment, you know, it wasn't really like how I thought it was going to be because I've had, I've had some experience with it before, I'm just receiving it myself for, for wounds on the battlefield. This was a lot more stable of an environment, very calm. There was music playing, you know, dim lights. Everybody was really cool at the center. And then afterwards, I was staying in a local hotel, so I had some time to sit and reflect and, and walk around. So that really helped out a lot. After the treatment, it was a lot more centered and uh, calm, definitely. The ketamine treatment helped out a lot with just being more grounded, more accepting of other people and feeling like, we're, you know, we're all in this together, being less pessimistic. I was having a lot of nightmares and stuff before. A lot of that's been addressed. And when I do wake up, it's more, just more calm. It's really hard to explain. Things aren't as um, anxious or rushed because I was in a job that was very high demand and you're always fighting and stuff like that. You're always constantly on edge whenever you wake up. Like, hey, do I got to go do something? And now it's just, it's hard to explain. I'm Japanese as well. So it's like waking up in a Japanese garden and setting your intentions to go throughout the day and just being very calm. And the most unexpected changes for me is embracing like the idea of oneness with, with uh, the rest of my, my fellow you know, humans and uh, opening up about things, you know, that I wouldn't necessarily open up before. Not just like to talk about stuff, but just just opening up within myself, uh, thinking about things I wouldn't have thought about um, on my own. I was getting a, like a holistic treatment here, so I was getting stellar ganglion blocks at the same time, meditation, yoga, a whole, a whole treatment plan uh, through the military to try to address these things. That was my job for like six months was to just uh, address those issues. It was definitely an important piece in the, that, that treatment plan. My wife noticed uh, the change is the most. She's the one that's always like, like if I'm being an, uh, a jerk, she's like, hey, you should go back and get some more, you know? She's like, I think it's time. A lot of us in the military, especially those of us with PTSD and TBI, have a tendency to, you know, become recluses, you know, when we get out of the military. And so that's really helped me open up and uh, not not be that way. And be more, and be more um, interested in trying alternative techniques instead of, you know, just the standard the standard standard of care. I would say don't hesitate to try it. Yeah, I would not hesitate to, to, to recommend it. It's extremely safe, um, has the potential to be beneficial, um, not just with the mood stuff, but you know, with your, your brain overall as well. In the military, we use it for almost everything. You know, we use it because it's an extremely safe drug where you can use it for pain control and it's not habit forming in the, in the short term. And, it, and you can protect your own airway. Obviously with anything, with any drug, you can have a long-term addiction potential, but the drugs we're using now, the drugs I was taking before are worse. You know, I'm having neck pain, anxiety problems. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be put on Zoloft and opioids, which is a horrible idea, you know, for if you're worried about long-term addiction potential. There's a lot of information out there because this is, this is something that's done throughout the country now. So, you know, so there's a lot of centers putting out information educate yourself first and foremost look at the negatives that have happened with it it's actually kind of hard to find people that have had bad reactions talk to other people who've done it you may not know somebody else that has done it we live in a digital age you can reach out to uh to people who had it done because the dr lipoff you know one of the pioneers of the the, the field forming it it's extremely professional one of the first places that have that have done it i would recommend going to stella over 
say one of these these other flat you know the operations that have just established themselves overnight there's nothing wrong with that but you know the still center had probably has the most experience at any place in the country doing that I, I had such a good experience with both of those things that i actually i want to do research moving forward with sgb and ketamine for military service members so we can try to get this moved to where they can actually get it done you know through the dod where it's not an off-schedule thing, you know, where people are risking their careers to get this kind of stuff done.